63%. Okay, cool. What we're going to do is, I got one box on box. But I want coffee because I'm trying to do a bunch of reviews today. And I'm going to be uh, on death's door, so to speak. Oh, so we're going to make some... Oh, what is that? Dark Magic, dark roast coffee. So this will be a combination single product unboxing and coffee making. Now, I don't drink coffee often, so y'all should get ready. I'm going to use a single serving K-cup pasta linked to Chulux. The Chulux. Slap that fucker down. Um, I hate giving this thing water because it always spills everywhere. So I'm going to try something new today. I'm going to go half. Yeah, okay, this makes more sense. Trying to get a hole in there, it always spills everywhere. So I'm gonna give it half and half, but I'm not measuring, so if we overfill with too much coffee, it's because Zeos can't estimate. Yeah. Cool. Now, close this, lock it. Before I turn the machine on, there's two things I wanna add to it. I like a little bit of sugar, and where the fuck is my butter? How do you lose your butter? How do you lose all your, your, all your butter? How do you lose your butter? Like the butter should not be, oh there it is. I'm about to say, I don't want to have any losable butter. Because I want hot water to hit the butter to melt it, and I want hot water to hit the fucking sugar. I like it sweet. That's like four lumps, I don't know. However, how else you calculate that? We can leave, we got a long spoon, we can leave it in. And it's not a lot of butter, it's like that much butter. And what happens, this is a whole keto thing, but I'm like, well, I'm not keto, I'm not putting the other oil in it. I just need that saltiness on top. And this cup is actually too tall to pull straight out, so I gotta like soup it underneath. There we go. I'll add probably a little bit of uh, milk when it's out and done. You don't want to add the milk now because you want to have the maximum heat for melting the butter and the sugar. We'll do what's it called when we're done. So okay, let's unbox the thing. Yeah, I need that coffee. Man, I need that coffee. I don't, I don't coffee often. I mean, I mean coffee Coffeeing oftener, more oftener. I've been coffeeing, and I don't know if it helps or hurts. What is Rinko doing here? <gasps> White Rinko. Oh shit, pasta! I may have to rush this unboxing out. Oh, this is a big one. Okay, so two things. This is my one hundred dollar collab. I am Rinko, but in white, which is going to be insane. Cat scratching the cat scratch. He finally figured out how to scratch the cat scratching thing. He's amazing. Um, this is upside down. I hate it. Everything's got to go back. This is a possible collaboration cable. That's going to be $300. So, but <laughs> it's a thing I believe in expensive cables. When? The IAM calls for it, when you have super low impedance, when you have act like, cause it matters when you're using something this small, which the Rinko, I don't think, oh my God, they're clear on the back. I didn't see the clear on the back. Oh, these look awesome. These are more awesomer. And they come with pre-installed medium fucking render tips. Ah, oh, fuck. So we got white back. They were gonna do silver, but silver didn't work, so they went white, and you know what? I love it. So I'm gonna literally, they're the same sound as the original Rinko. If you already have Rinko, buy another one, you could have black and white Rinkos, and then you'll have another person who could have white and black Rinkos. <sighs> Rinko C Audio Clear with the pre-installed medium tips. You get the little thing. Print quality on this looks a little faded. I don't see what the hell they're doing with that. Oh, did I get the stander? Did I get the stander? Damn it! You're getting a different standard because the devil standard is the one I have downstairs. They've got the other one, the other, because the, you've got the devil and the angel. The angel standard should be coming also at some point. I'll have to tell her I didn't get it. You get your see through card. You got the Rinko. 
wedding ring case. I'm just double checking under here. It's, it's glued in place. It's fine. Uh, oh, you got a button. I got a fucking button. I'm assuming you're going to get a button too. Like this is my first uh, thing. I may have a button maker so I can make this all, but look at that. You got like a metallic back background and like an acrylic her with her ass just sticking out just at the bottom of it. Oh, I'm wearing this. Totes wearing this. And then we get the other two sizes for the render tips, which I'm a uh, red on the right, black on the left, because I need a larger size. So I'm going to do that right now. And the little, uh, someone said they got a set and they were all black and there was no, no other colors, which I don't know if that meant there were no other sizes. So we still have our beautiful cable. I th I don't think it was this collab, but it's one of my collabs. I was like, hey, we might be able to offer in the future a 4.4 to go along with it. So I'm I'm not going to install this cable because we're going to install the Griffin cable on these, obviously. Um, but yeah, this is so fucking nice. It says C Audio and the little Zeos logo that's so small it's actually like bunched up. It's fucking yes. Left. These aren't really labeled. This is a really nice feel too. It feels like glass. Like when you have like um, frosted glass, it's got that like smooth texture. That's what that feels like. And I've never seen, you can see the tubes that they use. Or the tube, I'm sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. It's a giant fucking tube, it's like a tornado. I'm so glad. I'm, I, I'm upset I don't have the other standards so I can match it. Let's put away this insanely, this is also one of the nicer cases you could get with an IM or a wedding ring, just, just pointing that out. So let's put her to the side, put these girls to the side. Move that over. Oh God, coffee's too full, coffee's too full. Stop, cease. This is, this is, I did get the, 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 the wrong. All right, so now since the cup can't just pull straight out, I'm, and I can't tilt the cup. Oh, I spilled it everywhere. Oh my God, it's so full. Bring it to the edge. So as you can see, um, the butter is melting on the top nicely. We actually lost a bunch of that butter on the side, so I'm gonna add more, but there we go. There's, there's my sugar is gonna melt. Give it a little stir. I'm gonna need this coffee for a $300 IM cable. They're also sending me, get this, a $1,000 IM cable. And I was like, please don't make me touch it. Ah, it's gonna burn. Um, but I'm like, I'm not gonna say no, because the company that's doing that cable and this cable are the ones who do the collab, and I really wanted a more expensive cable than the Chimera cable. Love my Chimera cable. Unfortunately, it's been actually proven via listening that, you know, a super low impedance cable can help sometimes. Most people aren't gonna buy them, and you're gonna be happy with whatever fuck you get, but I think I'm at the game level now with my IEM collection that it's like, you know what? I do want one of those DD Hi-Fi or Effect cables. I have the Effect 8, eight conductor, like crazy. It's like $300 with interchangeable heads. Let's see what this Griffin looks like. Cause um, I'm not sure if this has the colors we've chosen cause we did do some colors, but I'm, I'm getting the actual cable itself. No, it's still the stock colors. That's pretty badass, honestly. If I was doing collab on, on this particular artwork, I would just give it tits. Give the Griffin some big old honkers. Yeah, effects cable signature series. Sound design perfection. Uh, ooh. It's hard to sell people on the idea that a cable can make a huge difference, especially me. But, and, and the difference is there. The difference was so apparent in the C Audio, what the fuck was the 2000, uh, Cadenza? Cadenza, it's a terrible name for a $2,000 IM. But those were eight ohms. And, and they had such like high efficiency and yet were eight ohms. And so any wire difference you could hear, literally would kill the cable. So how am I supposed to take this out? Okay, let's undo the strap. Because obviously there's a 
leather strap with a button with the effect logo on it. It might not be real leather. I don't know. Feels like it feels like it might be, but it doesn't have a smell. I like to smell my cables. Let's pull this out. Are you not going to pull out of here? What is happening? I'm certainly not pulling that through. They may not have thought this through. They may not have thought this through. Hold on. We're going to get this fucker out. Okay, we can get this, the, the, these ends out real easy. I mean, look at this. Look at this box. Like, this is just cardboard, but this backing is like suede. And this is just too big to fit through that hole. Like, I'm dead serious. Like, and I can't bring this end through because look at the size of this monster, which is, by the way, wrapped in plastic. Like, you'd get it on a bottle cap, which is kind of nice. There's your slider, which is a plate. I'm not sure if I like that at all. Because, I don't know, a plate has like edges and isn't smooth. I do like using it. Uh, Skander from um, Viking Weave actually asked me if I would like, if I feel like he made me a cable, would I like that? I'm like, I don't know, maybe. I'm just going to force it through with violence. I forced it through with violence. It came out. So let's see. I don't know why you can't. I mean, the problem with getting impedance down on a cable is you have to spend a lot on the cable. The connectors and the ends are fine. Tips are fine. Are these also plastic wrapped? Jesus fuck. Who's got the, who's got the time to unwrap this shit? Using the back of the box as a cutting board would suck it. I don't want to damage the fucking anything. This is dumb. This should not be wrapped like this. This is the dumbest thing I've ever, that has ever. Oh my God. Because I, I, you can't wield a knife around this. It's got, it's a, it's a $300 fucking cable. The plastic is so small, I'm not even concerned about picking it up. The cats aren't gonna eat it. No one's gonna find it. It's gonna fall on the ground and blow into a corner and get swept up in a week. Jesus Christ, this is annoying. All right. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to make some fucking notes if I'm gonna do any sort of collab on a cable like this. Is stop wrapping the plastic around. This is the worst. Watch this plastic is like some special. This is actually the diaphragm from a Stax. They've wrapped it around it for good luck. I don't even see like the tear marks. Like there, like there isn't even like a pull here to start thing. It can't be hard to tell them to not do something, right? Like, just don't. Just don't do that thing. So, yeah, this is red carbon fiber and black with the silver cable. I'm keeping the cable silver. I'm going purple. I'm going a purple connector on the end, purple separations here, and then purple up top with red and blue indicators is my desired thing. They sent me a render. It looks amazing. So, yeah. Now, again... Why? This is so fucking heavy. And it comes with the effect cable pouch, which is a pouch just for your effect cable, which this then gets clipped into that. So you could do this and make it an official sealable, closable thing. I don't know why this doesn't have a, like a belt loop so I can wear it as a belt. So let's put on the Rinko. Because obviously Rinko is what you're going to be putting this cable on. It does have the square end, so it will fit into a deeper IM. That's one of the things that the Chimera cable doesn't have. Like, if I was doing a separate cable collab, just for that I would do it. Uh, it also comes with the Connex tips, which means I could change it out. There's a tool, an MMC... Actually, those are MMC... Those, no, wait, those are Pentacon on the back. But then the other side of this... Oh, God. The other side of this... Oh, no. So you get the choice... Is that MMCX or Pentacon? I think it comes with Pentacon options, which again, I don't know a single IAM that uses that. But yeah, so that's another reason why it's a, such an expensive fucking cable is the actual heads here will unscrew just the end of it and you could screw in a new connector made of all solid gold. So boom, white Rinko on a Griffin cable. And now let's go try my coffee, even though I have no room for 
milk and I really want to add some milk, so I'm gonna have to do some sipping. Hold on. All right, here we go. That's hot. That's so hot. Again, I'm not used to coffee. I'm not a coffee guy. Let's take out the expensive fucking milk. I'm gonna have to milk that down. It's good though. Honestly, that dark roast, that dark magic from Green Mountain Coffee Roasters. A little bit of, little bit of sugar, a little bit of that, the little bit of butter is just floating on the top and you get it with every sip and it won't go away till the end. Although I did lose a bunch of it down the side and I had a plenty of sugar. So I'm just gonna milk the fuck out of that. I'd usually put like that much milk in it. Can't do it right now. Thank you again to Hi-Fi Go for sending out Rinko and thank you again to C Audio for creating Rinko. And I'm gonna wear the fuck out of this pin just everywhere and no one's gonna know why. It doesn't even have labels on it. It doesn't even say like Rinko on it. It's very nice, it's like acrylic. It's very nice. There's so much Chinese on this. It's all Chinese. I don't know what it is. I don't know who delivered it. Oh, fuck, I gotta go down to my goddamn street, bring my garbage pails in. They pick up the garbage on Wednesdays here, but you put it out on Thursday, on Tuesdays because you're not gonna go out Wednesday morning. That's dumb. What are the odds of this? Um, I'll describe this in a second. So anyway, it's currently Friday. Uh, <laughs> I didn't go out Wednesday. I didn't go out Thursday. It's Friday. I have no reason to go out, but I should just drive downstairs or walk downstairs and just drag my, my buckets and shit in. Cat. Perfect cat box. Look at that. That's a cat box. Cat's going to be in that. Anyway, I decided yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before? Day before yesterday. Um, it was a live stream on Wednesday. I decided to put the Art Aurora in the yard sale because it was one of those things that I don't use all the time. And I have the Art Aquila, which is the big silver fucker. And I could probably sell that too. I just don't use them anymore because technologies and DAX and the amplification is not as good as what you could just get for like half the price now. So I put, I reluctantly put the DeArt Aurora in the yard sale just to fill in the numbers. I needed 12 items. No idea this is happening. There's a new DeArt. That's like the third one in my entire channel's lifetime. And it just shows up fucking randomly without provocation after I decide to sell a DeArt, which is a U U long. Uh, this is a stupid way to make a thing come out because I just had to do that and this could have just easily fallen out. So what are we looking at here? The Aquila 3. So now I could definitely sell the Aquila. Oh, baby. Daddy's going to touch you. Um, we've got US, a standard power cable, a USB cable a little confirmation thing. I'm gonna pull the stuff back in here because I don't need any of these things out. This looks like a lot of Chinese, angry Chinese lettering. Got a little bit of a stain here. The, the Art Aquila 3 DAC pre-amplifier and headphone amplifier. Oh, this is very informative. JIC fifth generation FPGA jitter and interface control. We're gonna have AES, optical, coaxial, and USB. No Bluetooth. We're gonna have outputs, analogs, RCA, headphones. 4.4 they finally added to it. Actually, you know what? I don't remember if the other one had 4.4. Anyway, that's this. Actually, wait, 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 let me just see one, one spec. I saw the specs page. Do they tell me the headphone output? Four watts, that's actually pretty good. Balanced is four watts, single-ended is one watt. That's all I care about. And let's slide this back in here and I'll put this box someplace where I'll never fucking find it again because that's the way it works in this house. Like I, I have to sell the, the art, the other one, the Aurora, and I have no idea if I'm going to be able to find the, the original packaging for it. It's got the same weird feet. Like it's got like silver things and then it's got five small things in it because I couldn't figure out how to make it work any other way. We've got the screen with the protector, which I will immediately peel off because fuck it. 4.4 quarter inch balanced. Same exact digital knob as the other Aquila. AES EBU, coaxial optical USB, power switch, some vent holes here, 
balanced and analog output. It's got a little safety tape here to say, hey, did you open this up and fuck with it? Um, ooh, there's an actual, is that imperfection in the top? Looks like the lights bounce. Yeah, there's like a dent in it. Oh, you gotta feel it. It's very light. Usually that's a weird thing, but I'll, I assume that they just picked out, this one's got a, got a damage on it, send it to a reviewer. We're not gonna get money on this one anyway. So hopefully, I'm interested, I love that knob though. Do it, it like rocks and you rotate it. Like it's like, but it's like real positive. Like it's got a good click, a good hard click, and it's very knurled. It just isn't as straight as I like it to be. That's what my girl says about me.